Hey folks, welcome to gorgeous Whittier, Alaska. I am surrounded by glaciers, ocean, all kinds of Alaskan goodness. Hey folks, uh, welcome to beautiful Whittier, Alaska. I'm at the head of Blackstone Bay today and looking for shorebirds. And uh, it is just gorgeous here, surrounded by glaciers, ocean, shorebirds. And it's uh, in the 50s, which is really, really nice, nice bluebird day. So just about perfect conditions. A little windy, a little windier than I want it to be, but that's fine. So this will be uh, part one of a two-part series on Whittier and these shorebirds. Uh, today we'll be covering uh, least sandpipers, western sandpipers, and wimbrels. Um, caught quite a bit of those and they're just gorgeous to catch, especially in these little tide pools that's sitting right here behind me, things like that here and along the coast of the head of Blackstone Bay. So that's what today's video is going to be about, is about the, those type birds, uh, the more sh quote, quote shorebirds. And, and uh, tune in next week and we will have uh, black oyster catchers, ducks, small birds, things like that. So that'll be really cool. So stay tuned and uh, you guys enjoy the video and the pictures. Take care. Worked out great when I got here. Uh, I think these are Dunlins or Western Sandpipers. I can't tell which, but I got a bunch of them literally right here in front of me. I, I mean, two minute, not even two minute walk, one minute walk from the parking lot where I parked my truck um, here at the head of the Blackstone Bay. It's just awesome. Uh, hang on a second. I got another one. I got a picture. Oh, it's awesome. Uh, just gorgeous. Um, got these mountains reflecting this pool right here in front of me and I think there's some clams or something because every once in a while the water will bubble and stuff so the tide's going out so I should be able to chase birds I'm gonna be wet and muddy and nasty when I get done with this day uh, but just gorgeous the the lights hitting this water and this seaweed this stuff here all this and it's glistening so hopefully I have really good bokeh balls with this um, I'm trying to shoot about uh, 800 plus around there, 800, 1200 on these birds, uh, just to make sure they're sharp and getting reflection in the water. Uh, I couldn't have planned a better day. Uh, it has been great so far because on the way down, I found some sandhill cranes and I got some video and some footage of those. So um, hopefully I'm not too blown out on this. I can see <laughs> just the sun beating off my head. Um, all right, I'm going back to photograph these guys some more and I'm gonna move down the beach I saw some grebes in the water and I'm hoping there's some oyster catchers here, but I'm Maybe a little late to hit them, but uh, hopefully they're out here. So uh, I'm getting back after these birds I'll talk to you guys soon
one of the things you want to do when you're looking for shorebirds is look for a spot kind of like what I've got right here which is a uh, tide pool and one that is a little creek arm that got water that feeds it but then in, once the tide goes out it still holds water and what that does is all these little shorebirds are going to come up around this body of water because they'll be like clams and other little stuff they like to eat um, so that's what I'm fixing to do is I'm going to get on the other side of this and post up and kind of wait for birds to come in and out and get pictures of them that's that's kind of what you do you look for these little tide pools that you know get really really shallow but they never empty and that's where your birds are going to come to and I could hear a bunch of pipers chirping and flying around me right now so I'm gonna get after this see what I can find you have to excuse me I'm scanning for birds as I'm talking here anyway I'm gonna get after this and we'll show you what I get When you've been uh, been concentrating on your waterfowl too much, and you don't realize that the tide's coming up, and you and your camera are laying in the water. I was wondering why I was getting a little cool over here, but pretty pretty cool. But anyway, uh, back to shooting these birds somewhere. Once I get out of this water, you guys take care. the wise pay attention to the tide forecast I thought the tide was going out but it has been coming in so one of my little DJI cameras uh, it's not waterproof went in the water so hopefully I'll be able to recover it but we'll see I'm sitting here right now with a ton of sandpipers just sitting all around me uh, just in this tide pool right here really really cool um, Anyway, I'm probably going to go to the truck and dry out a little bit. I was sitting in the water because I didn't realize the tide was coming up in on me. I was way too focused, but uh, probably going to go dry out. And then I may get back after some more of these birds. Uh, until then, uh, you guys stay safe. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that video so far. It's uh, been a great time down here in Whittier. And that's the end of part one on our excursion down here to Whittier and the head of Blackstone Bay here to catch shorebirds. Uh, the sandpipers are so cool to, to photograph and to watch. And the wimbrels were just a bonus. That was just a really nice to find those. I usually don't find those here. I just never noticed them, but uh, they were here in quite a, quite a big numbers. Uh, make sure you tune in next week because that'll be the oyster catchers, uh, small birds like the American pipit and 
uh, yellow rump warblers I found, and also the ducks and things like that. And the biggest one's the oyster catcher. Uh, caught a mating twice. Don't miss that. Anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed and uh, play some pictures after this. And uh, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, try to get it growing so we can keep it going. Anyway, you guys stay safe, and I'll see you next week.